Let's check in with the Hollywood box office and see how things are going. I see people still love simple movies. Godzilla X Kong remains at number one. It's bringing in a ton of money. Probably guaranteeing a Godzilla Kong 3. I think it's at a couple hundred million now. It's doing well. It's going to make a lot of money. Just like Godzilla Minus One did. Now, the one good thing that we might get out of this is maybe more kaiju movies that are simple and not full of politics. As boring as Godzilla X-Kong was to me, it at least wasn't woke. I, I didn't like it as much as this first one. In fact, I'd say I, I didn't care for it at all. But it doesn't matter. A lot of people do like it. And... I think that that's fine. If you like this movie, good. Another movie that came out, Monkey Man, came out at $10 million. I don't know anything about that movie other than it's an action movie. And it seems to be doing maybe okay. I don't know how much it costs to make it. The first Omen I hear good things about. And that's where we're at. But there is one movie. One movie that has failed to meet financial expectations and that is of course the racist harry potter movie the american society of magical negroes is a financial disaster barely manages to make one million dollars on its opening weekend now that was news from march 19th let's see how the movie's doing now oh what is this The movie is being pulled from theaters after only three weeks. It finished its run with a $2.4 million box office, a 28% score on Rotten Tomatoes, and a budget estimated to be at $15 million. And that is a low budget, ladies and gentlemen. That is a Godzilla minus one budget. In fact, Godzilla Minus One was made for $9 million. (laughs) It made a lot of money. Now, that movie is making bucks. That movie is making profit. Godzilla Minus One, this movie, not so much. $15 million budget didn't even scratch the surface of that. And I'm going to go ahead and say the marketing for this movie, not that big because I didn't see barely any commercials for it. Uh, Fatal J guy I've had on my Flashcast show on Saturday several times uh, said that uh, black people that he knew were walking out of the theaters on it. They hated it. Uh, no, nobody showed up for it. Uh, woke people, which you would think would feel obligated to show up and watch this, didn't show up. Uh, the groups that they were targeting for this movie to come see it didn't show up. I think one takeaway from this is that everybody is sick of shit like this. So this movie that is a hateful and racist, uh, I, I call it the racist Harry Potter, is a complete and utter failure. World of Real actually posted this on the 5th. I was just seeing this today from Culture Crave. Uh, but the World of Real actually had the scoop on this. And said it was leaving theaters a few days ago. So this movie's already out. What a disaster. And the signs were there. You go over to Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, Here's the 28%, but here's the kicker. Go to Top Critics, it falls to 19%. Now you say, oh, verified audience seems to like it a 64 percent well that's okay that's like mid-range until you click on audience and it falls to 27 (laughs) percent oh i love seeing this hollywood stop it you're doing this to yourselves you did this and you made the budget so small that you thought that this racist movie could make a little bit of money How can it not make $30 million? Well, it didn't. And let this be a lesson. People are tired of this shit. 
This is why everyone's going back and watching old stuff. This is why people are going back and watching older shows, older movies, uh, people even in gaming, retro gaming, at an all-time high. I could go, in fact, anybody could go the rest of their lives watching older entertainment because there's so much of it. I mean, we have, we have almost a hundred years of entertainment that you can access, especially through physical media, DVDs, all that DVDs are cheap. You can get DVDs, a huge stack of them, probably 10 bucks at some places. So, and you know, there's other ways to get around things and get stuff where you can get them for a very, 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 very cheap price. If you know what I'm saying. Uh, raise your straw hat, Jolly Rogers. So there's there's ways to be entertained without modern Hollywood. And you're seeing it. People are going back to the old stuff. Uh, I did a video on that not, long, not that long ago uh, where apparently journalists are shocked, shocked that people are going back to old stuff. So, you know, let this be, let this be a message to Hollywood. Do you think they'll get the message? Probably not. Probably not. But anyway, it's it's still fun to laugh at. You put out a racist Harry Potter movie. Congratulations. You made no money and you look stupid. Pulling it three weeks. Three weeks in the theater. Gone. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I will see all of you on the next one. Peace. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free, but if you are a supporter over here i do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me also it's a good place to catch all of my content you don't have to worry about notifications like youtube they'll definitely work over here so come check out my locals